I will introduce you to the basic operation and adjustment of the circuit plex. This time I used the yellow icon circuit plex developer studio port 10. To start the software, double click the icon. Let's click it. Proton is the professional edition of the Silky Pack Slit with the most features. First, I will explain the main window. By default, this is a select section in the three sections at the top light of the screen. The select section is ideal for selecting an image that you want to adjust quickly. The middle adjustment section allows you to adjust various settings such as exposure and a white balance of the image. Here is the print section. In the select section, if you select the folder tree on the left of the screen, the image inside will be displayed. Double click the image you want to adjust to switch into the adjustment section. In the adjustment section, you can also click a folder to switch between images. However, the development for scene is being behind the screen, so it will be displayed slower. The preview window is the combination mode by default and the thumbnail is displayed at the end of the preview display. You can adjust the image while looking at the preview display above. You can change the display here. The size of the thumbnails can be changed with the slider in the upper light of the display. The three squares icon is the combination mode and one square is the preview mode. In the combination mode, when the monitor screen such as a laptop computer is small, the display to be adjusted will become smaller, so you can select an image in the thumbnail mode and switch to the preview mode smoothly by double clicking it. Double click the area you want to check for focus or blue to view it at 100% of the actual pixel size. I would like to start the adjustment. The adjustment items are located on the light side of the display. The adjustment functions are listed on these parameter controllers. There are a lot of functions, but this time it is the basis of low development and I will introduce you to the three basic adjustment functions that you want to perform first. The first is adjust the exposure. The second is to adjust the white balance. And the third is to adjust the tone. First, make adjustment for the entire image. After that, then make details adjustment. If you adjust the exposure after using the pressure collection tool or the fine color controller first, it goes long when you adjust the exposure entire later. Therefore, it is a point of image adjustment to perform this basic adjustment first. Now, let's get started. First, use the exposure to adjust the blindness by moving the slider left or right. Move 
moving it to the light makes the image brighter and it makes the color lighter. If you move it to the left, the image will be darker and the color will be also darker. You can see that the image of the photo changes it with just exposure. Then press the white balloon sun symbol to toggle between the top piece for frame tuning, such as the color temperature. This time, I used a preset next to the sun symbol to make adjustments. If you are adjusting for the first time, it is easy to select a few from here first. Now, let's use the old absolute of silky things. Comparing them, you can see that the image before the adjustment was a little bluish. Next, the tone is a function for determining the contrast. Click the icon to switch between the top page and adjust the contrast, gamma, and so on. I would like to choose from the preset next to the icon. The tone can adjust the sharp contrast between light and dark, so the low contrast makes be a soft image. Conversely, the blindness and darkness difference will increase and the contrast will increase as you make it stronger. These three features are followed by color, sharpness, noise reduction, and more. I've used three basic adjustment functions but will compare them again with the before. In comparison, you can see that these three basic functions have increased vividness without increasing saturation. Since the vivid parts may be destroyed if you adjust saturation first, I recommend to adjust first to the exposure, white balance, and tone. Here is how to develop this adjusted low image. In the silky packs, saving adjusted images are called development. Click here to the development button. Click this icon that appears as development when hovering over the button. Here you decide where you want to save the data. Change the name here. There are JPEG and TIFF file types, but if you want to make further adjustments using other software, save the file in the TIFF with a large amount of data. I will development it with a common JPEG. Click the development here. The adjusted image is saved here. When you adjust the image, a folder named Silkypex and DS is automatically created in the folder that contains the image. In this case, the parameter driving adjustment of the adjusted images are saved in a file extension called SBD. This file allows you to continue adjusting the image the next time it is launched. Note that if you move or derive this folder or SBD file, the image is adjusted will revert to the default settings. In addition, low images display the adjustment results in conjunction with this SBD file, so you can restore low images to its default multiple times without any loss or image quality and adjust it again. This time, I use exposure, white balance, and tone that is the basis of low development to adjust. So Lucky Picks has these basic adjustments in order from top to bottom and you can easily select them from the preset.
Therefore, even the first-time user can easily perform the basic adjustment. Other adjustment functions, if you do not know what effect the cursor has, hover the cursor over the icon and the function name and the information button will appear next to the cursor. Click this information button to see what this function is in the web manual. This time, I adjusted the basic function first, but it is not necessary to adjust these three items, so check if they match or deviate from your image. You can adjust the product you care about. So, please use the basics of how to use CircuitPex introduced this time as a reference, and by all means, try to adjust it with your photos.